Welcome to Black Children's Books Read Aloud. Braiding Crowns of Friendship, written by Christine Aldrich. There was a little girl named Christine who moved from Fairfax, Virginia to Los Angeles, California with her mom, dad, little brother, and their dog named Reggie. Christine was still getting used to her new home and she was feeling nervous about going to a new school. She missed her friends and their old neighborhood. Her mom told her she would meet new friends and that she and her little brother would fit in with the other children. That night, they ordered their favorite pepperoni and sausage pizza and dad took them for ice cream. Yummy! Their parents always had a way of making them feel better. Christine went to sleep happy, ready to meet her new classmates the next day. Christine woke up early the next morning to get ready for school. She took off her head wrap, brushed her teeth, and put on her favorite blue dress. Her mom and dad made Christine and her little brother a huge breakfast. When Christine came downstairs, she could smell the pancakes and eggs. She sat down with her family, said a prayer, and then ate her breakfast. Dad dropped Christine and her little brother off at school. He gave them a hug and told them to have a great day. Christine looked back and saw her dad smiling. He always put a big smile on her face. She waved and went into the school. When Christine walked into the classroom, all eyes were on her. Her teacher, Mrs. Smith, introduced Christine to the class. Christine saw a little girl with big brown eyes and long hair smile at her, so she decided to sit near her. When Christine sat down, the girl smiled and said, Hello. Hello. She made Christine feel so much more comfortable. When class was over, the little girl walked outside with Christine and said her name was Little Friend. She said, if you want to have lunch together after our next class, join me outside on the patio. Christine felt so much better now that she would have someone to eat with her on her first day of school. After that, she went to check on her little brother and he had lots of children around him. He gave Christine the thumbs up, so she went to her next class. Everyone in the class was nice to her. Christine started thinking, I'm going to like my new school. Christine had lunch with little friend and then went to two more classes. In Christine's last class, she sat in front of a little girl with long blonde hair. The little girl laughed at Christine when she sat down. She pulled on Christine's braids Ouch. and said, Why do you have those ugly braids in your hair? Christine wondered why the little girl had asked her about her hair. I love my braids, she thought. When Christine looked at the little girl's hair, she saw that it was straight. When she touched her own hair, she knew that it was thicker. Christine looked around the class and saw that most of the little girls had long, straight hair. But Christine remembered that her mom would always tell her to love her hair, saying that it was her beautiful crown. Then, a couple of children in the class started joining in with the blonde girl, laughing at Christine's hair. Christine started crying and ran out of the classroom. Little friend came to find Christine and asked, what is wrong? So Christine told her. Little friend gave her a big hug and smiled at her. She had a way of making Christine feel better. Well, I'm going to wear my hair in braids tomorrow too. We will show them, little friend said. Christine smiled, took a deep breath, and went back into the classroom. When Christine's mom came to pick her up, Christine told her what had happened. Mom took Christine's hands in hers and said, God made each of us different, and we have to love the differences we have. We are all God's children. Do not let that little girl make you question who you are. 
You are beautiful just the way you are. Christine's little brother gave her a hug, and her dad let her pick the family movie for the night. Christine loved her family because they always made her feel better. That night, before Christine went to sleep, she looked at her face in the mirror. Then she looked at her braids. Christine decided that her mom was right. Everyone was different, with different noses, mouths, and hair. She took her head wrap and wrapped her braids. Christine prayed that she would have a better time at school the next day, and then she went to sleep. When Christine got up the next morning to go to school, she remembered little friend had told her that she was going to wear her hair in braids. Christine wondered if she forgot. Christine's dad and brother gave her a hug and told her to have a great day. When Christine got to class, she saw that little friend had not forgotten. She was wearing braids along with many others. Several little girls walked past Christine and smiled, saying that they liked her hair. Christine started smiling too, and she began to feel great. The next day before class, the little blonde girl came up to Christine and told her she was sorry for being so mean and that she had never seen hair like Christine's before. Christine smiled at the blonde girl and they walked into the class together. That night, Christine touched her beautiful crown and smiled. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. Most importantly, please support the author by purchasing their book. Until next time.